we're back on STL Live, and I'm joined by Reese Hartnell, and Summer Osborne's going to be joining us in the second segment to talk about embracing the light. What is embracing the light? Um, it's an event which encompasses both poetry, music, and then as well speakers to speak out about suicide um, prevention awareness. Okay, so how did you come up with this idea? I mean, you're a singer, you're an artist, but to have this idea to do an event to really raise awareness about su suicide prevention? Well, um, for one, I'm a suicide attempt survivor myself. Um, those in my family are as well. I have friends who have taken their own lives, a, farm, a former mate who did as well. And, and as such, I think as a poet, you get to the point where you make a, a conscious decision. Am I going to be a poet because I seek fame or because I, you know, I, I want to receive accolades for what I do? Or do I want to do this because it has a purpose and because it's a ministry and this is my calling? And for me, it's my calling. So I wanted to use my, my voice and the voices of my friends and the talents of, of all of us to come together to speak out about suicide, to, to reach out to those in the community who are hurting and hopefully in doing so, let them know you are not alone in this. We have all gone through it ourselves. Well, no, and thank you for that clarification too, for you know, acknowledging that, yes, you are a poet. And how did poetry sort of play a role when you, you know, before and really after you attempted suicide? Well, um, I have been homeless. I have been in abusive situations. I have struggled with depression. And in every single situation, it has been poetry, which has been the comfort to me that I, I so desperately needed when I didn't feel like I could speak to anyone else about it, when I felt completely isolated from fellow humans. Poetry was there. She's the constant friend, the partner, whatever it is I needed. So without poetry today, I do not, I do not know that I would be there. So, so it's, it is my healer, my, my counselor, everything, the mender of my wounds, essentially. You know? So with the event taking place this weekend, you got together some of your friends in the artist community in the mm -hmm. area. How many people are going to be involved in this event on Saturday? There are going to be four other poets, myself and Summer Osborne, who's coming up. And I pick the group that I have for a specific reason. Um, one poet is going to speak about suicide in the LGBT community. Another about um, those who uh, deal with uh, PTSD that are in the military. Uh, another who speaks out about any kind of problem in, in the black community, which is so so seldom overlooked by way of depression and suicide attempts. So, so we have we have an eclectic group that is that is going to be uplifting, but also speak to specific parts of depression that that I think that need to be addressed in our society. Okay, and I think we have an image of some of those poets as well as Summer, Indeed. who's going to be on in the second half, who's going to perform um, a song. But let's take a look at who are some of um, who are we taking? Who, um, who are we taking in the left hand here? side, there is Aries the Righteous, or AD as we all know him. He is. He has a foundation in town for those who are hungry, and um, he's just an all-around good guy. We have Summer on the right-hand side, Patia Elaine. Patia really does speak to the the existence of black women in our society and what they what they go through. There is Tailored Poet, who is going to speak to issues in the LGBT community, and Sir Irvin above myself. And Sir Irvin is the one who's going to do a piece. He is a writer, a producer, playwright, and poet, and he's going to do a piece about PTSD that is deeply moving and packing. And all of all of us try to humanize ex the human experience in a way mm -hmm. that um, that that really sorts of it gets the word out there that that we're all connected in our experience. So. And you've partnered with some other local nonprofits, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, we have the VA. Um, we also have um, the Association for Suicide Prevention, and then we have um, about six different. Uh, organizations in in the area, including Provident, who are going to come out and speak about what what they offer to those in need in the community, and it's all free. The event is all free, so whoever um, comes, we don't want them to feel like there's right. any obligation or anything. We're just 
No, I think out. it's a wonderful, a wonderful idea. We've got the information there for you on the screen. It's called Embracing the Light. It's a suicide prevention awareness event filled with poetry and music, which you're just going to hear and coming up soon. But it's taking place this Saturday, September 12th, from 2 to 4 p.m. at First Presbyterian Church uh, of Delmar Boulevard. For more information, you can reach out to Reese at reesepoet at gmail.com. Thank you, Reese, for sharing that you. information with us. And thank I you. Good luck with that. everything this weekend. But we're going to just you. take a quick break, and we're going to continue to this discussion. But we're going to hear some music from Summer Osborne, who is participating in Embracing the Light this weekend. So stay with us. We're just going to take a quick break right after this.